Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding histogram of users and purchases using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Walmart interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume you are given the table on Walmart user transactions based on a user's most recent transaction date, write a query to obtain the users and the number of products bought. Output the user's most recent transaction date, user ID and the number of products sorted by the transaction date in chronological order. So basically you are given a table called users transactions with four different columns, product ID, user ID, spend and transaction date. And here is an example, right? So for example, for user ID one, two, three, right? So on 8th of July, uh, the person bought two different products, right? So for user ID one, two, three, the latest transaction or the most recent transaction is on 8th of July, 2022. And if you see like it is a date time, right? So on uh, 8th of July, 2022 at 12, uh, user ID one, two, three bought two products, right? Then for uh, user ID 115, there is only one. So this is going to be the most recent transaction for 159, uh, one transaction on 8th of July and second on 10th of July. So obviously the recent one is 10th of July, right? And number of products one, right? So that is what you have in the output. So basically what we can do is from this table, right? We can, you know, try to rank based on the, uh, you know, ascent uh, ordering in the transaction date for each user ID in a decreasing manner. So what I'm saying is from this table called user transaction, let's keep all the columns and then use the rank, right? Now ranking can be done by three different functions, row number, rank and dense rank. However, why are we, you know, uh, we, we should not use row number here because even if there is a, uh, uh, you know the same date right so for example if you take this case right if you use row number right so this is going to have uh, you know rank one and rank two but the most recent transaction of one two three user id one two three is on 8th of july right and these both of these should be included right so that is why row number cannot be used you can either use rank or dense rank does not matter right so let's go ahead with rank function right and it will become more clear why we are you know ranking this so i write rank and then we need to rank for each user id and order by transaction date in decreasing manner because we are only concerned about the most recent transaction right so since this is a window function we write over clause and then we write partition by the user id and then you order by the transaction date in descending manner right and let's alias this as rank right now why some of you might think like why can't we do you know just take the date part of it and uh, you know just uh, order in this decreasing manner and uh, keep that so the problem with that is, let's say, for example, user ID one, two, three on 8th of July, right? 2022 at 12 bought these two products. Let's say the person came out of the store and said that, oh, uh, I forgot to buy something else. And the person went like goes back, goes back into the uh, store and buys something else. And let's say buys another product on 8, 7, 2022 at let's say 1205. Now the most recent transaction is going to be the one at 12.05 on 8th of July, right? So only that should be kept in the output. Right now here we are keeping both of these because the date transaction date and time is exactly the same. And that is why we have one, two, three as two count, right? So if you know, there is a third row for your one, two, three at 12 or five on the same date. And let's say the person bought one. So the, in the output, you are going to have eight, seven, eight, 2022, 20, 12, oh, five, one, two, three and purchase count is going to be one. That is why, you know, we are using the ranking function or why we are ranking here, right? To get the latest transaction. So obviously if you can think about it since we ordered by transaction date in decreasing manner the most recent transaction is always going to have rank one right so if i run this if you see right so for example for this a user id 115 12th of july and then 8th of july so 12th of july is obviously going to be the most recent transaction to rank equal to one and two similarly if you look at this one right so for user id 159 so 12th of July, 12th of July, exact date and time. So both of these are, you know, assigned rank equal to one. So once we have this, then what we can do is we can write, you know, we can store this entire thing in a common table expression. So with CT as this entire thing goes into parentheses, 
right and then we are only concerned with the most recent transaction right so from common table expression let's keep only those rows where rank is equal to one because that is the most recent transaction right and then what we need to return we need to return the transaction date user id and count the total number of product ids right so basically what we can do is we can simply do group by the transaction date then the user id right you need to return the transaction date the user id and then you count the distinct product id right distinct product id and let's alias this as whatever is required so it is purchase count right so we write purchase count and also the question says that we need to uh, you know report the uh, the product sorted by transaction date in chronological order so basically we need to write order by transaction date in ascending manner so yeah i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so for each of the you know transaction rates sorted in ascending order for different user ids what is the purchase count right so you have all that so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it right so yeah not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know we found out that okay for each of the particular user what is the most recent transaction date and we rank in decreasing manner right we assigned the ranks and and by this logic, you are going to have rank equal to one for the most recent transaction for each user ID. We made sure that we are only concerned with that and then we grouped by transaction date and user ID because that is what we, those are the two columns that we need in the output. Uh, apart from the purchase count which we calculate from counting the distinct number of product ids and then we ordered by transaction date so that you know it is arranged in a chronological manner so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video